up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nurse Dawn, in the building. How is everyone doing on this blessed, blessed Monday, August 2nd, 2021? Thank God is good. God is good. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm usually doing my nursing videos, about my travel assignments, updates, and um, the breakdown of how it's going. I'm doing my videos on how to get into nursing school but this video is going to be a little bit different today this is specifically about um becoming a wife okay and how i manifest my husband right so this video is totally different this is more of a spiritual video it was on my heart it was on my mind and truthfully i do like those types of videos because they mean so much to me to give out and to share to others and bless other people so today yes today's video is going to be about how i manifest my husband in 2020 yes actually we can go back a year how i manifest my husband in 2019 i got married this past january 2021 but i manifested my husband in 2019 and hopefully this will inspire many women out here to manifest your husband to pray about your husband even if you don't physically see him even if he's physically not there even if you're single out here but just to truly manifest your husband for you and it's about how i manifest my husband i'm not telling you that this will work for you but if you want to try it listen what's what's the problem with trying you can always try and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but you know what the power of manifestation the power of manifestation is real okay so stay tuned before i begin i want to say make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel make sure you comment down below um, i truly enjoy giving inspiration and motivating other women out here so this is something i never knew about myself so i'm learning this and this is a new journey for me so yes let's get right into this video about how i manifest my husband we're gonna talk about the when we're gonna talk about the why we're gonna talk about the how and then we're gonna talk about when this truly happened like the action i'm not gonna go too deep into it because that's for another video but it just i'm just gonna go up until the part where when it when it truly happened and i knew that i truly met my husband okay lee i remember it was june 2019 i was living with obviously me and my three children i have four children but my oldest she was out the house but yes it was me and my three children and basically i manifested my husband by praying number one that was my first prayer that was my first thing i did was praying i remember praying to god and it was something that came upon me that i was really truly ready to be a wife i was seeing someone at the time and that person at the time was not truly it was off and on for 10 years um it was not like a committed relationship on for 10 years but it was off and on friendship relationship situationship that i had with this man and i truly knew that this man did not truly want to marry me okay because june 2019 there was something that came upon my life and god basically spoke to me and told me that this is not your husband okay this is not your husband um that he had a man for me and so i started to look at when god placed it on my heart i didn't know what it was i didn't know what was going on but i remember god placing that on my heart and i remember at the time i was so lost because now physically i started to say okay so where is he lord so you're telling me that this is not my husband okay that i've been dealing with this man off and on for 10 years and then you know every other year i'm dealing with this guy for 10 years it, it's been but he's not the man but i do have your husband so physically i started to say okay so where is he so i started to get a little not desperate but just like when guys would approach me i would say okay lord this is him okay this is him okay lord you said that you know you had this man for me okay this is him okay so this man is looking at me in the store okay this is him he wants to talk to me i became a little i wouldn't say desperate but just like you know i don't know the word there is a word for i don't remember the, i don't know the word but i became that and so god spoke to me and he basically told me that's not how i'm going to send your husband i didn't know how he was going to send my husband but it wasn't that okay because that just what it, what it was and so in june 2019 i remember um that came upon me i started to look at different videos of women manifesting their husbands so i really got in tune with it i got in tune with um the thought when i was talking to the man at the time i psyched myself up and i said well 
maybe it is him lord but you're just saying that he's going to be in a different he's going to change into being my husband okay so i psyched myself up and so i started to believe it so when we were dealing together the mary the m word came up with him and so the marriage word came up he 10 12 years older than me he was married before so he definitely wasn't there he wasn't truly there but me when god spoke to me i'm thinking to myself well lord you told me you have my husband yes you said it wasn't him but maybe it is him but it's not the him in that form at the moment so i started to put the m word out to him and he was just basically like he wasn't trying to hear it and so i truly was hurt because i didn't clearly hear what God had what, what he told me he spoke that into me I was confused right so still dealing with this guy at the time and just really just saying okay Lord well maybe it's him maybe you're saying this is him but maybe he's gonna change so a month or two goes by I'm reading the word right I'm reading the Proverbs 31 because that's the type of woman that I truly wanted to be I wanted to be a virtuous woman I wanted to be that wife um not really knowing the deep details of that chapter i just knew that that's the type of wife that i wanted to be so um or become so i remember reading that still dealing with this guy looking at the youtube videos of how women manifested their husbands and god told me one day to write down what type of husband you want right so he said that to me right so I started to look on YouTube on the videos on different women writing about, you know, um, their husbands, their height, their weight, how many children you want your husband to have, what kind of job you want him to have, um, you know, uh, what he likes to do. Because God placed that on my head first. So I was just really confused. I said, let me look on YouTube to see if this is really what women do. So. I looked on YouTube and sure enough, there was women talking about manifesting their husbands, right? Praying and writing down the type of man they wanted. So guess what? That was confirmation for me. It's not like I didn't trust God, but I needed to see it in physical form that other people were doing it. That was, it. That was God talking to me, right? He spoke to me clearly. So I wrote down, I believe it was like five or six things I wrote down about my husband. I said, I want him to be tall. I wanted him to have one kid or at the time no more than three children i didn't even though i had four i can't remember i put three or four i think i remember i put no more than three children or the same amount as me i didn't want him to exceed the amount but i remember putting one kid and i said if he has more than one child do not let him have more children than me i put that I put his height, I put his color, I put white, uh, uh, Caucasian, I put black. Um, I said for him to have a job, for him to have his own business, um, for him to believe in Jesus Christ, for him to be saved. And it may have been one or two other things, respectful and those things like that. But the core of what I'm trying to say is that I wrote it down in physical form. Okay, so that's what I did. I'm telling you the when was in June 2019 and um how I started to write it down I started to look at videos I started to pray like I started to believe that I was truly a wife so I started to like mentally it starts mental so I started mentally thinking that I'm a wife like I'm a wife I know I can be a wife I could do wifely things I can do wifely duties like I am a wife okay my husband is in the world i'm gonna meet you just keep on waiting i'm gonna meet you i started to do that so i started to it started to process meanwhile at the ranch i'm still dealing with this guy that i was dealing with with the situationship and so things started to happen with him and i that showed me more and more that he was not my husband okay that god truly said this ain't your husband so god has spoke that to me but then god started to show me right that that's not your husband that I got for you I told you that but now you're gonna see so I had to I was going through it with the guy and I'm just like well God you told me this is my husband well you didn't say that's my husband Lord I'm sorry but you told me that you I'm gonna get married married that I you have my husband for me and I'm talking to this guy we're involved we're doing this we're doing that why is it not him God started
started to show me in the end of 2019 that this was not the man for you, Dawn. Don't matter what you're saying, don't matter what, what, how, what, when, this ain't the man. So after I wrote it down, I remember now writing five or six things down. I put it in Proverbs 31. And till this day, I still have that Bible. And I'm, and I'm going to do another video on that physically show you the paper but I still have the Bible and it is in storage and I had the piece of paper and I put it in the Bible in Proverbs 31 and I closed the Bible and I and I believed that what I wrote on that paper that it was going to come true I believed that so it was June 19 June 2019 by the end of like October November me and this guy is really just really just going through things like this is not what it is it ain't how it's supposed to be it ain't what it's gonna be okay and so more and more god started to show me that this ain't your husband so november december came came and, and left i remember um i'm still manifesting i'm still manifesting my husband i remember talking to the guy and i told him listen i want to be married like I am a wife and I remember the guy laughing and telling and just laughing at me like listen slow down like you really like you ready to be married you know he was like you ready to be married and you know you're gonna be a good wife Dawn you're gonna be a good wife so when he was saying these certain things to me it was hurtful but at the same time it was confirmation that you ain't the one bro like you, you you ain't the one like you like you is not the one it was confirmation for me it was also confusing because I was like, well, who is he, Lord? You know, well, who is he? He, It ain't him. Who is it? So long and behold, yes, in November, he was saying that my daughter's father um, that I was really dealing with hard but talking to him. He was saying, I'm like, listen, you ready to be married. You, 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 you ready to be married. You, you know, you mentally there, you ready. And I'm like, I am ready to be married. So People started to see this in me. My mom started to see it. My sister started to see it. Like, I was there. So I manifested it June 2019. I wrote it down physically, okay? I started to believe in myself. I started looking at videos. I started praying. And then people started to see what was in me, right? So I knew that I was there. November, December came and left again. January rolled around. This man that I was talking to told me in January, I would never forget um, 2020. So we rolled around in 2020. This man took me out for dinner and physically told me that he could not be with me no more, right? That what we have is done. He will never marry me. He can't marry me. He cannot be with me. And so I remember at the time I was at the table at the restaurant and I was like, wow like really like why and his in a nutshell excuse was basically like we've been through too much together we can't this is not gonna happen and so that was the first time in almost 11 years 10 10 10 and a half years of talking to him that i ever had that conversation with him okay and so that conversation was very um it was heartfelt meaning that I truly just was just like, wow, like we've been through so much together and you know, you're telling me that you truly cannot marry me. Like, you, you know, this will never, it will never happen. I remember at the time I was just heartbroken. Um, and I think I remember um, just really truly just forgetting what God told me about he had my husband for me, you know what I'm saying? He truly had that man for me and my and my children. At the time, I was just like, wow, like, but I, but I remember after that conversation, when he told me he couldn't be with me, he told me that, you know, it would never be. I remember the word that God gave me in June 2019. I remember God telling me, I have your husband for you. Like, I had that man for you. And I remember after that it was like in later on in january and i remember going back to what god promised me and he told me what place on my life when he told me like you're gonna get married and it's not this man so when i saw that with him god spoke to him because 
God always protects his child. So I'm a child of God. So God protected my heart. And he knew truly what to do to him. For confirmation for me. He worked through him to get to me. So when he told me that at the time, of course, I'm human. I was just like. But after I think about maybe like a week or two. I remember God reassuring me that I told you the promise that I had for you and your children that I had your husband and it wasn't this man. Okay. Um, and right then and there, I remember, I remember what he said to me and how I manifested these things into play after he spoke to me. And it brought peace in my life knowing that God truly had the man for me and my children. It brought peace. It brought truly true peace knowing that to trust him okay trust him even when you don't see it trust god because he's always going to have your best benefit in life and so that's truly where it started um it started obviously it started in june 2019 but it took some time a couple months for me to truly get it in my system um about the manifestation that i placed upon my life the word that God placed upon me and my children and um, about how he had my husband for me. And so I just remember January going by and uh, February came, that was my birthday. And um, I'm tearing up because I'm just going through it and I'm truly remembering what I, what the feelings that I had back then. Um, and I remember February coming and me getting prepared for my birthday. And I remember, um, you know, getting up with him and, and my birthday is February 24th. So I remember um, still having that word upon my life. So while I'm still talking to this man, it was still dissipating, right? Because when it was confirmation that God worked through him to talk to me, it was a done deal for me. Like I was done, but I physically, obviously I was still physically talking to him and involved with him, but I still was done. I was done. You know, he was truly like a body because I just needed some comforting and just somebody to talk. February comes around, February 24th is my birthday. And I remember, um, and you know, we had a good time and we hung out and we had a great time. I had my birthday dinner. And I remember that last incident that happened in February 2020 where he wanted to see me and I didn't want to see him. I was truly over it. I was done. The curtains closed. The show was over. I was truly there 100% about leaving this man alone and waiting for God to show me my husband. I was there. I left him alone. I remember it had to be February 30th or something like that. And I truly um, cut him off. I believe he wanted to see me. And I believe that I denied it and he just was mad. And truly, um, that was the last time I talked to him. After that, I remember um, it was like March. It was like in the first week of March. Um, I was in nursing school at the time. And the first week in March, and it came to like be like the second week in March. Um, I remember this is when the COVID hit. It was around March 15th, 16th, about 15th. Um, and we were like in the first day or two of COVID and I remember logging on and I said, you know what, Lord, let me just go on Tinder. Let me go on, let me go on Tinder. Let me just fish around just to see, you know, I didn't go on plenty of fish, but I went on Tinder. I went on Tinder and I remember just saying, you know what, why not? Why not try the online dating? I've been, you know, out here since I was. 13, 14 dating, having children and meeting men and all types of things that I've, I've, I've been, I've done in my life dealing with men. What's the, what's the point of what's going to hurt going on Tinder? Let me just go on Tinder. And I remember logging on to Tinder around March 15th. Um, and it was a first day and I was like, Ooh, this is a bit much swipe, right? Swipe left, swipe, right. is too much. Like, okay, but I'm going to do it. Cause we ended we just started the COVID. I remember it was like the first day. So I was bored. Logged off. I think I had a few chats. Wasn't that serious. I remember March 16th rolled around the next day. And I remember 
this time it was just like okay well this is a little bit interesting you know like okay i think i was talking to a guy on the phone for like 20 minutes and i hung up and i was like this ain't it and somehow you can link your number with tinder and i didn't know at the time and i was like how he got my number i don't know nothing about the link to you know they can automatically call or something so march 17th rolls around and I believe it was like you could swipe left if you don't want them and swipe right if you don't want them. So I remember just swiping right, swiping right, swiping right, swiping left. Oh, he's nice looking on swiping right. Just whatever, playing a game with Tinder. And long and behold, this man inboxes me. And he's like, hey, how you doing? What's, what's up? What's your name? How you doing? A little bit. Not a small talk. And that man, okay, is my husband today. A year and a half later. That's my husband, okay? <laughs> so, basically, that's what happened. March 2020, I met um, my husband. At the time, obviously, that was an associate. And then we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And I got engaged eight months after that. Got married in January 2021. And then we had our big celebration this year, May 2021. And today, I am truly married with the man that God truly has for me and my kids. And I'm truly happy God has blessed me um, abundantly and beyond when it comes to this man that I'm so appreciative of. I'm learning this new thing called marriage life. I'm learning this new thing called stepmom life. And I truly wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, I want to say in a nutshell, I'm going to wrap it up because I can talk all night about my life, how it's changed, um, and the good, the good the the uh, difficult times the transitioning the better and the worse and you know we're brand new we're new babe to this but god is truly faithful and i just want to say for all the women out here who's watching my video be inspired okay be inspired as i was inspired by other women looking at other videos and taking advice and truly just being there when it came to me wanting my husband and manifesting this thing called marriage i was there so i want to say trust god trust the process don't give up there is a man out here for you you and you and your children or just you as a woman you truly have to mentally be there first there is a process um of truly just mentally accepting that you are a wife because then you have to act like a wife you have to talk like a wife you have to really physically be even if you are involved with someone you can be involved with someone and truly know that you are a wife, right? And that man is not for you. That the water has run dry, like this is over. And that's what I went through, okay? So it wasn't, I don't believe you necessarily have to be by yourself in a cocoon by yourself, like in a huddle, your home by yourself. I don't believe that has to happen because it didn't happen to me. God moves how he wants to move. He moves how he wants to move. He shows himself the way he wants to show himself. It's not man, it's God. So you have to trust God. Trust the process. Trust his word. Trust the signs. Write down what you want as a, a wife. You can write the type of wife you want to be. And or you can write truly the type of husband that you want to have. You can pray for your husband. I prayed for my husband. I said, Lord, if, if he's at work now, I hope he gets off safely. And he goes home and goes to sleep. I was praying for my husband. And I sounded crazy when I was doing it. But I believe that God heard my prayer, okay? It was a secret prayer in my heart. And I will never forget it. And I will take this journey with me. I will take this story with me forever. And that's truly what it is. It's been um, a little long video. But I truly just had to come on here and truly just say that um, how I felt. It was on my heart. And I hope this message, I hope this video blessed many, 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 many millions and millions of other women out here who is truly looking to be a wife, okay? So again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn the notifications bell on so that when I upload a video, okay, you are one of the first to see. All right, so my video, this channel is um, about family. It's about relationships, you know, relationship between me and my my husband when i'm uh you know my new life is about nursing is about my children um it's very broad and it's gonna be very broad it's not just gonna be about one thing because i'm a broad woman i have many heads to my to myself 
and so that's truly what i want my videos um to my for my channel to be centered around okay so until next time y'all stay blessed y'all stay tuned and and pray okay y'all pray because your husband is out there believe in yourself that's where it starts bye